so, well, yeah, like like you said, I've had some some tough matches in like the last eighteen months. Um, but they've they've all been tough in different ways. It's like Chris Weidman, I won, but it was super tough. Like it's probably the most physical match I've ever had. Like he just had an absolute engine on him and just didn't stop and we were both just absolutely launching each other all over the place and I was exhausted after that. Um, but then obviously some of the other matches have lost as well. Um, I drew with Nicky Rod. That wasn't a really tough match at all, if I'm being honest. Like it shocked me a little bit. Like he's nowhere near as physical as I thought he was going to be. Mm. Um, most of the time he just fights from a half kneeling position and just tries to double leg you on entry. Um, Kynan is phenomenal. Like he's mm. won ADCC twice. He's a fucking monster, isn't he? Yeah. He's watching that. Like, he's just the him. strongest guy I've ever felt, mate. <laughs> just like, yeah, he didn't do like, like when I went to New Wave, I'm rolling with some people and they're doing stuff I've never seen. They're doing like unbelievable, like off balancing you, and things yeah. like that. And you just can't, you feel like you can't set anything up. You can't like have a solid base anywhere. Whereas like Kynan worked like that. He wasn't doing anything where I was like, what, what was that? But it was just if he got on top of you, he was just smothering. Like, I've never felt anyone that strong. Yeah, he looks he looks strong. <laughs> Doesn't yeah. he? he looks like he's ridiculous. And then there's obviously Fabricio. <laughs> Fabricio is just a phenomenal talent. He's young, super athletic. And we had a really close match. It's mm. like I threw him a few times and this where grappling and judo differs like massively is like in judo if you throw if I throw you and it starts on the mat and we land off the mat, I'm still winning. Mm. And like if, I, if our feet are in the area, I throw you, but it started within the area, you land outside, I still get the points. Grappling's like that as well. Like if you're in ADCC, if you start, you throw someone, you land in position, mm -hmm. you get the points. But yeah. Polaris it wasn't like that. Like a double-legged Fabricio inside, we landed outside, no just cold stop. And Ayuchi matted him from the inside. We landed outside, nothing. Um, after that, I've nearly took him down about three more times and he just hit one duck under on me. He mm. hit one duck under, which didn't even put my shoulders on the floor. I was just sat on my ass and then I stood up. But because there was like a three second pause where I was sat on my ass, that was the one point. Um, but he, like Fabrizio was a fucking phenomenal grappler you know what mm -hmm. I mean so I, I, I enjoyed that match but all like genuinely physically all their matches were really tough mm -hmm. in different ways it'd be hard to choose which yeah. one's the hardest one it's like it doesn't ever look like you were really in threat did you feel with any of those that you thought that there was ever a, a danger of them catching you with anything or was it more no. just physical dominance in positions and that type of thing it's more just tactical mate like I think like I like people genuinely still I always get it on Instagram like people genuinely don't believe me when I say like I'm not a competitor, like I'm a coach. Like now I don't see myself as a competitor at all. Like if you asked me my goals for the next two years as a grappler, I wouldn't know. Cause like I'm not planning any of it. I've mm. not planned any of it. Like I had no intentions of competing in grappling. I got asked to do a match and said, yeah. People liked what they watched, asked me to do a match on another show, said, yeah. I've won some matches, so I've just been offered others. Um, so like when I'm training, like I ain't, I don't have a coach. Like I literally train under no one now. It's just my gym. Um, I do not drill whatsoever anymore. Like I have no time. I'd love to, but I have no time. Um, like my training now literally just consists of lifting weights three times a week and joining in at the end of the sessions that I teach and getting a handful of rounds four or five nights a week with the people that were in my gym. Mm. Like I ain't traveling around, training with different people. I'm not learning new things under new coaches. It's, um, so like, I feel like a lot of the matches I've lost, like I've drew a Nicky Rod, I've lost to Fabricio one nil. Um, what was it before that? Kanan. Kanan beat me on points. Like I think it was about eight nil, like, he was pretty dominant to be fair to Kanan. Uh beat Chris Weidman. I got caught by a mistake with Hunter Colin. Uh like the matches that I've lost, like Luke Griffith finished me. That's the second one. ADCC. The European final, he caught me with a rear naked as well. Mm. But the matches I've lost, this, like apart from the two that I've been 
rear naked shorts. They've just been like tactical mistakes because I, like when everyone says, what's your game plan? Like I ain't joking when I say I have not. Mm. Like, I'm just turning up to like, <laughs> I just enjoy competing. Mm. If you stood up, I'm going to try and throw you. If you pull guard, I'm going to try and pass. If I get to a position, I'm going to try and submit. Like it's literally as straightforward as that. And I think sometimes at the top level, you might need them tactics against some people. Mm. Like maybe against Fabricio, if I was a bit more tactical, I probably could have won that with it being so close. And I'm more or less certain that he came into that match with a game plan. Mm -hmm. Whereas I just came in empty minded and just went out there to try and put a good match on for everyone. Mm. So I think that can cost you sometimes at the higher level.